Eating more protein can boost your metabolism, help you pack on muscle and reduce body fat. This makes protein seem like a cheat code in the world of dieting, making most people think simply protein good, fats bad, and carbs extra bad. Not only is this untrue, but there are actually many ways that protein can lead to fat gain, dissatisfaction with your diet, and decreased athletic performance. So let's go over five major mistakes that can lead to slower fat loss and even gaining body fat due to unknowingly messing up the one macronutrient that you thought you were safe with, protein. The first mistake is eating too many high calorie processed foods that are marketed as high protein or weight loss friendly. A couple examples include protein cookies, protein chips, peanut butter, and even protein bars. Although all these foods can be part of your diet, it can be easy to eat too many cookies or protein bars or protein chips if you're not careful. For example, protein bars can be excellent for building muscle and burning fat. However, many protein bars are loaded with added sugars, artificial ingredients, and preservatives, which can contribute to excess calorie intake and ultimately make you gain fat. This doesn't mean that you can't have one protein bar every single day and improve your body composition in the process. But keep in mind that the average protein bar has around 200 calories. Meanwhile, a Milky Way bar has about 250 calories. So if you eat four protein bars in a day, you're gonna take in a similar amount of calories as four Milky Way bars. Overeating will lead to fat gain regardless of whether you're eating protein bars or Milky Ways. So keep in mind that you can't just go from eating too many regular cookies to simply eating too many high protein cookies. It won't work, protein is not a cheat code. And this brings me to my next point. Most people don't think that protein can be converted into fat. Instead, they believe that it's only used by your body to build muscle. And there's no denying that there are good reasons to prioritize protein in your diet since it will help satisfy hunger, build muscle, and it has a much higher thermic effect compared to carbs and fats, leading to about 20 to 30% of the calories from the protein source you eat to get burnt off just while breaking down and digesting it. But even with these advantages, if you exceed your total daily calorie requirements by eating too much protein, you will gain body fat in the same way as if you ate too many carbs. In fact, through a metabolic process known as gluconeogenesis, your body will convert the excess amino acids from protein into glucose, which is the simplest form of carbohydrates. Even though this glucose can then be used for immediate energy or stored in the liver and muscles as glycogen, if you're exceeding your daily calories, your glycogen stores will most likely already be full. So then the excess glucose will get converted into fatty acids and stored as triglycerides and fat tissue, leading to fat accumulation. Another issue is that many people think they need more protein than they actually do. Planning a diet too high in protein will limit the amount of carbs and fats that you can add to your diet. Cutting calories to burn fat is tough enough as it is. You wanna be able to eat the carbs that satisfy your sweet tooth like fruit and the fats that make your meals taste better like butter and oil. This is usually due to overestimating how much protein you need to build muscle. You only need about three quarters of a gram of protein per pound of body weight daily to maximize the rate of protein synthesis. Once you do that, there's no need for more protein. You can save the rest of your daily calories for the carbs and fats that you're craving. This will allow you to have more variety, making your diet more sustainable. On top of that, even though protein is great at building muscle, it's not your body's preferred energy source by any means. If we were to look at an extreme example and pretend that you're only eating protein without any carbs or fats at all, your performance levels would definitely drop rapidly. This is because nutrients outside of protein, like carbohydrates, are preferred sources of energy for your body. Specifically, carbs are very important for high intensity activities like weightlifting due to their efficient conversion into glucose, which fuels muscle contraction. Unlike fats and proteins, carbohydrates can also be rapidly metabolized, providing quick bursts of energy during intense workout sessions. Unfortunately, it so happens that many weightlifters eat more protein than they actually need, which can directly limit performance if you're sacrificing carbs for excess amounts of protein, for example. The same thing can be said for fats. If you don't have at least 20% of your daily caloric intake coming from fat, you'll have suboptimal hormone production, including hormones like testosterone that are highly beneficial for building muscle and burning fat. Another thing is that fats are necessary to break down certain fat-soluble vitamins like vitamin A, D, E, and K. If your diet is skewed too high in the direction of protein and not enough fat, you'll most likely also have lower energy levels, a weakened immune system, and your brain won't be functioning as well because your brain requires omega-3 fatty acids to support tasks like cognitive function, mood regulation, and memory. 
The next mistake is not accurately tracking your protein intake. If you're just guessing based on what you think you're taking in, you would probably be extremely surprised if you actually tracked your calories. You may be eating a lot more protein than you think, and the only way to find out is to input your meals into a calorie tracking app like MyFitnessPal for at least a week. You may find that the calories and macros that you thought you were getting are actually completely off. This is especially an issue with a super common high protein snack that the majority of people tend to overeat, nuts. Whether it's almonds, cashews, or peanuts, nuts are actually not the best protein source, especially if you're trying to burn fat. That's because nuts are very high in calories. For example, a one ounce serving of almonds will contain six grams of protein. It'll also come with 16 grams of fat, five grams of carbs, and a total of 180 calories. Nuts are also not that filling, so if you're trying to get leaner, nuts are not the best protein option to begin with. But on top of their high calorie count, it's very difficult to track the amount you eat correctly. Unless you're portioning into one ounce servings using a scale, you're probably like most people that'll just reach in and have a handful, and then it's likely that you'll have another handful. Ultimately, this is very hard to track, and if you wind up eating 50 almonds, let's say, which isn't much, it's like two handfuls, you'll take in close to 500 calories. You may not be tracking hundreds of those calories, which can easily make your progress stall or even contribute to fat gain. Let's move on to another big mistake, which is not eating enough protein. That's right, even though having too much protein can lead to fat gain, not consuming enough protein is just as bad, if not worse, and it can definitely lead to weight gain due to a few factors. First of all, protein plays a key role in satiety, meaning it helps you feel full and satisfied after meals. Without enough protein, you'll be far more likely to experience increased hunger and cravings, leading to overeating too many calories. This excess energy will usually come from calorie dense foods and those calories can obviously be stored as fat. On top of that, protein is essential for maintaining and building lean muscle mass. If you're not taking in enough protein for a long enough time period, it can lead to muscle loss, which lowers your metabolic rate. With a slower metabolism, your body will become less efficient at burning calories, which makes it easier to gain weight even with the same caloric intake. Now, the other thing that most people don't realize is that not taking in enough protein can disrupt blood sugar levels and insulin sensitivity. That's because protein helps regulate blood sugar by slowing down the absorption of carbohydrates from your meals. This ultimately prevents spikes and crashes in blood glucose levels throughout the day. So if you don't take in enough protein with your meals, you'll have more significant fluctuations in your blood sugar, leading to increased cravings for high calorie and sugary foods. Eating these high sugar calorie dense foods will again promote fat storage. Unstable blood sugar levels will also make you feel tired and make it difficult to think clearly throughout the day. So make sure you're having about three quarters of a gram of protein per every pound of body weight like I mentioned at the beginning of this video. So that about wraps it up. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you learned to avoid these common mistakes related to protein consumption. If you have enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more content like this, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Also, if you'd like to take the next step and you're looking for a simplified approach to burning fat and building muscle, that's streamlined and comes with a full workout plan, a video exercise library, a customizable diet plan, a recipe book, and an accountability coach to help guide you through the entire process, well then visit my website where you can get all of this for free just by putting your best foot forward and sticking to the plan. To find out how my clients are getting incredible results in just six weeks, you can click the link in the description below or simply visit my website directly at gravitytransformation.com. I'll see you guys soon.